going to use a scotch bright to clean up the silver wires. Just take a little piece of scotch bright and run it on the silver. You get all the oxidation off from the last time you made the clay of silver. Okay, that'll be that. So I'm using a little 30 volt DC power supply with some alligator clips that I'm going to clip onto the uh, silver wire once I have them hanging in the mason jar. It's a little air pump, a little aquarium air pump that I got. And I just hang it up on the wall here. And then I run this little hose from the air pump with this little filter on the end down inside the mason jar to keep it bubbled up all the time so it's stirred up constantly while I'm making this. Make sure your mason jar is uh, really cleaned out well. I use uh, Walmart Great Value distilled water. It's steam distilled so it's a good distilled water. Fill up your mason jar. It's up uh, near top. And then I put it in a double boiler. Uh, I've tried it in a regular boiling water and it cracks the bottom of the jar off. So I've never broken the jar using the double boiler. So you put water in the bottom pan and water in the top pan and then turn it on. And I usually just uh, turn it on about medium until I get the water in the pan fairly warm and I turn it way down as low as it will go. I just uh, take my wires and I just hang them on the edge of the jar. I've got that little thing bent there. You got to have them fairly close, but you don't. You can't have them touching. So I just usually put them uh, oh half inch to an inch close. Then connect up your DC uh, voltage. I just use these little alligator clips on this 30 volt DC supply. Negative or positive on either one, it doesn't matter. You do want to alternate these as you make your Kaleido silver, otherwise one of your wires will get used up faster than the other one. So if you want them used up evenly, then you need to alternate the positive and negative from one lead to the other lead occasionally. And make sure your wires are back here far enough so the heat doesn't melt the, melt the wire on you. Once you're sure that the uh, leads aren't touching each other, <clears throat> then you can go ahead and turn on your power. And uh, I've got about uh, 27, 25, 25 volts somewhere around in there, which is fine. I use this uh, it's a little filter on my uh, aquarium pump here. I just connect it. I just put that down in the water there. And then I connect it up to the aquarium pump. Turn on the pump. And it bubbles the water, keeps the water stirred up all the time while I'm making this. Makes a lot finer particle colloidal silver. The process going a little bit faster. I'll take some colloidal silver that I've made in the past and I'll put a little bit in here. Just, just a small amount. And by having that little bit of silver in there, that from the last batch of Kaleido silver, I'll have a better conduction between these two silver wires right off the bat. Plus, if I was to check this right now, I should actually read uh, one, one or more parts per million now. Just that little bit of Kaleido silver I put in there. And I'll uh, put this on hold. Pull it out of there. Just it that way. It's uh, one part per million. So it actually reads one part per million now, and it was just zero just a minute ago, a little while ago. And of course, that's because I just put that small amount of Clydo silver in my uh, mason jar there.
I've turned my temperature down to low. Now it actually started uh, boiling over just a little bit. The water is uh, pretty hot to the touch there. And it'll start warming up the water inside the bottle. Um, and it'll, of course, equalize temperature throughout the double boiler, the bottom and the middle, uh, top pan and the, and the bottom pan, and the water will all become about the same temperature. The warm water will keep the particles of the colloidal silver smaller. And the smaller the particles, the easier it'll go into your bloodstream. Okay, it's been a couple hours now. I'm making this one a little stronger than I usually do. I'll take a reading here. I've taken several readings uh, before this. It says 35 parts per million, 33, 28, kind of varying here. I like it in there. Push the whole button just so you can see it. It's Put it on 33 there. Here we go. 33. 33 parts per million. Now what that means is that 33 parts of something else other than water in there. And it should be uh, pretty near all silver that's in there besides the water. So now we're going to take that off the stove and I'm going to bring it around here and pour it into this mason jar here because there is a little bit of sediment in there. There is just a little bit of sediment here. I'm not sure just exactly what that is. Maybe it's the other one thousandth of a, of a percent that isn't silver. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to catch all that in this um, coffee filter. So all that's going to be left is just the distilled water and the silver and any large particles of silver, which that's what these may be. You can see there's still some uh, some stuff there in the bottom of the jar. Um, okay, as you can see, the water is uh, pretty clear. Uh, it's a little foggy probably because it's still warm. And uh, we're going to be able to see this laser light through there now. And what that, all that is doing, before I shined it through a, gla a glass jar, and I'll show you one more in case I didn't record it. I'll show you another one because I'm going to do another jar now. That's actually the silver particles inside the water that we're seeing right there. So, um, uh, it, it's actually infused into the, the silver is infused into the water. Now I'm going to take a, another jar here and uh, I'm going to uh, uh, fill it with distilled water. shine that LED through there. And there it is. I'm going up and down there now. I'm going to back up the camera so we can see both of the jars. The jar on the left is just the distilled water and the jar on the right is the colloidal silver. So you can see it's passing right through the jar on the left which is just pure distilled water and the jar on the right has the colloidal silver in it and you can see the beam of light through it but you can't see the beam of light passing through the jar uh, with nothing in it but distilled water. Now I've taken the coffee filter out and you can see a little bit of stuff that's in the uh, coffee filter there. And I'm going to uh, take one more reading on the parts per million. It's 
It's reading about 32 right now. Thirty-two, thirty-three on the meter right there now. Now that'll change once it's cooled down and hopefully it'll stay above 10. I'd like to keep it 10 or above. 